Good afternoon. Or hola. <laughs> I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to welcome welcome you all here to our annual kickoff for our Latino Hispanic Heritage Month celebration. Uh, we've been doing this now for quite some time. Uh, I think we were checking and uh, I think the first event we ever held was back around 94. But for the last seven years, continuously we've been able to provide some type of programming and information to enlighten and uh, make people more aware of the contributions and many things, uh, positive things from the Latino Hispanic culture. Uh, we're here to kick it off and honor someone who has uh, made some great um, con contributions to the community. So not to hold it off any longer, I want to uh, introduce our president, President Jack Sprager, to make the announcement. Thank you, Milton, and welcome, everyone. Uh, uh, you know, diversity at BCC is very important, and we put a lot of emphasis on it. Uh, and it's a delight to kick off the Hispanic uh, History Month uh, here at BCC. Uh, we have a number of activities uh, throughout the month, but I always say about these, and the same with African American History Month, it's not just 30 days or 28 days in February. Uh, it's all year uh, that we celebrate. We know, and, uh, you know, people have made the comment. I always used to go around and say, well, we, we celebrate uh, diversity. Uh, and uh, people say, well, that's not really the same thing as, uh, in, you know, really bringing it in and embracing it and uh, whatever it is. So I always meant that when I said celebrate, but I want you to be sure that you know what we mean by uh, that we value uh, diversity here at the college. We want to integrate it into our everyday activities and not just for 30 days and not just for a week or a day or whatever it is. Uh, this is an ongoing priority for the college. And it's my pleasure now uh, as we kick off uh, uh, Hispanic History Month uh, at BCC uh, to uh, bring to your attention some wonderful, uh, a wonderful person that I want to talk a little bit about. Um, I want to introduce Maria Mojica to you, uh, born in Puerto Rico and raised in New Bedford. Uh, Maria is a community-oriented uh, Latina working with low-income families and children, uh, primarily but not exclusively in the New Bedford area. She is devoted to social and economic justice, and she knows the importance of education in the lives of uh, those who are struggling to overcome poverty and the many obstacles associated with poverty and uh, with the uh, uh, culture the way it is today. She knows firsthand the value of education. She was an English language learner uh, and the first person in her family to receive a uh, college diploma. Uh, as a devoted single working mother, she is a role model for her family and uh, for those with whom she works and the people that she works with. She has assisted the Latino com community, Latino Latina uh, community throughout her professional life. Uh, and her faith and her convictions have provided her with this strength and uh, ability to assist those who struggle to make li a better opportunity for themselves, to make a better life for themselves. She knows that education, uh, as we all know uh, in, at BCC, that education is the key to a better life through, uh, th through education. It provides the opportunity for us. Uh, it's, the in it's a key to economic and political empowerment. Uh, it makes you stand on your feet, you're independent, right? And you can self-sustain yourself. So it is my um, uh, absolute honor to uh, ask uh, uh, Maria Mojico uh, to uh, come forward uh, so that I may present her with this certificate uh, to show our appreciation and it's a cita uh, citation of recognition for the outstanding work that she does uh, in the community. Maria? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Gets this. Thank you. There we go. So it's my honor to present this to you. Thank you. Muchas yes. gracias. Ah, I know what that means. <laughs> oh. Public speaking is not my thing, but I say what's in my heart. I just want to say thank you and muchas gracias uh, for recognizing my efforts. Um, my efforts are 
driven because of the passion that I have um, for my community and for all, because we're all part of one, regardless whether our last name is Gomez, Smith, um, um, Heifer, um, we are all one, and I think that together we can make a lot of strides. It has helped me. I had wonderful people in my life working in the audience who helped me to be the person that I am and continue for my growth. So with that said, with our young college students, keep on moving adelante, like I said. There will be obstacles, but that creates character. And just keep on moving forward. Nothing can stop you. It hasn't stopped me. I'm always going to be a long life learner. I'm still going to grow because the day I stop learning, is the, I think it's the day I'm going to die, and I don't want to die soon. So keep on learning. With that said, thank you very much. I wish you a very blessed day today. Thank you. Well, thank you again, Maria, and congratulations. Uh, I just want to uh, join, um, invite everyone here to join us for a little repast, a little luncheon that's going to be served. Uh, we want to thank you for coming. And uh, we also want to mention to you to keep your eye out uh, for different events that will be happening during this month. We do have a calendar. It's going to be it's on our website and our um, ABLE uh, program or committee chair, Tahis, uh, will be sending out more information. But I also want to recognize a couple of people in the committee uh, who've done a lot of hard work to bring this to fruition. That's uh, Thais Rea and Soren, Soren Triff. I think Soren's out. I think he's still out wrangling people to come. <laughs> so uh, thank you for coming again, and please join us for something to eat. Well, Thais, do you have anything you'd like to say, please, to add? Hello, uh, my name is Thais Real Martins. So we have some lunch. I don't know <laughs> if you like Spanish food, but it's, we have our rice, arroz, we have empanadas, we have plantains, we have pollo, chicken. <laughs> so, you know, you're welcome to have lunch with us, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. One, one last thing, I also want to rec recognize a couple of our great supporters, uh, Barbara Zendis and Marlene Pollock, who are also representing the uh, Forming Action Committee and the Multicultural Committee at the college. Thank you for coming. Okay, I guess we're all set. <laughs>